device in a very, very short period of time. So what I want you to do is I want you to slide that little door open. Very good. And we're going to take this card out. Okay, here's the card. It came out of the camera. We're going to put this in the camera, in the um, laptop. Okay, let it recognize the card. Mouse, mouse. Okay, there's the folder, and that was the last one we did. Now, it's as simple as dropping that file directly to one of the many video applications that have been optimized to use Intel QuickSync video technology. So what you're looking at here is the application is now transcoding that code and then will ultimately push it straight to the droid. Take a look in the lower left hand corner, you'll see that we're only at about 9% CPU utilization. Traditionally, the utilization of the CPU would be significantly higher to make this transition. And as you can see, it took 18 seconds and we got about how much? A minute and a half? All right, so now let me show you that video that Gabrielle just shot. So there's the video on the PC that we just shot. Okay, while that's playing. That's pretty darn good camera work, Gabrielle. And now hit play. Now just hold that up and show the people that's the same video that she just shot just a few moments ago. 18 seconds to move that from the camera to the droid. Now that's visibly smart. Thank you. Wow. Impressed? Yes? Gabrielle, how about a round of applause for our new filmmaker, Gabrielle? Gabrielle.